Hello everybody, hearty welcome to my channel. So today I am going to deal with the subject called as embedded systems which is most and the most important subject in the fourth year first semester. It comes under the category of electronic stream in the electronics and communication engineering. So to watch videos and to know the concepts related to JNT UK BTEC ECE R16 regulation 4 month semester do follow my videos and subscribe to my channel. So this is the part one related to this subject and I am going to make series of videos and those explaining the further concepts in each and every subject and you can watch them in my channel. So let us don't waste time and discuss the topic in this channel. Yes, so what are the topics that we are going to discuss in today's video in the embedded system subject? They are what do we mean by the word embedded? To understand any subject, we need to tackle from the fundamentals, the basics of the subject. So, in order to reach out students in that way, I am explaining from the basic word, what does the word embedded mean and how does the name embedded systems came to that subject. And next, the second topic is, what is the definition of an embedded system, where I am going to explain clearly the precise definition of an embedded system. And then the third most important aspect is what gave rise to the need of embedded systems? What are the circumstances that arose at one fine time that gave rise to the need of the embedded systems? Right. And the fourth one is comparison between GPCS and ES. Here we all know that GPCS stands for general purpose computing systems and embedded systems. I'm going to explain it clearly in the further videos and simply in this video. So let us go to the next slide. Yes, what do we mean by the word embedded? Simply this embedded means fixed firmly and deeply in a surrounding mass. Simply the easiest synonym for this embedded is implanted or inserted. We all know the meaning of inserted right. Embedded means to fix something deeply to easily apply it to our electronic stream when we consider an uh, integrated chip or an IC board then we will implant all the processors uh, I mean communication ports memory all these little little stuffs into the chip that is what we learned in VLSA right very large scale integrated chip so embedded simply means to insert something into a big stream uh, I can I wrote an example here to make you clearly understand a golden ring with nine embedded stones that means you all got an idea right embedded means to insert something or to keep a little things into the bigger one so simply embedded means to fix firmly here the word firmly stands for to a strong that means it does not change it does not move for little little environmental conditions so it is strong deeply in a surrounding mass Right? I think you got a little bit clarity about what does the word embedded mean. Let us continue. Yes. So, this embedded systems, nowadays, whatever we are, what are the things around us are all comes under the category of embedded systems only. From little things, from the portable devices such as digital watches which we daily wear and mp3 players to the large stationary items like traffic light controllers and programmable logic controllers like PLDs we all discussed programmable logic devices in our previous semesters and large complex system and this embedded systems the main advantage of this embedded systems is its theory is applicable to the very little little things at the same time larger things and many complex systems difficult systems like hybrid vehicles medical imaging systems like ECG and all we'll go in and discuss deeply of them in our upcoming videos right so just uh, to give you a brief idea about these embedded systems I included all these examples uh, to get a gunshot idea right and avionics you may get it out that what is this avionics mean avionics means nothing but the electronic systems which are used on aircraft artificial satellites and spacecraft etc that means until now you get a simple idea that uh, avionics are something which are electronics which are used on the space issues so they are called as avionics right so each and everything surrounding us is a application of embedded system okay you got clarity 
Yes. Now, coming to the definition of an embedded system. What does an embedded system clearly defines? An embedded system is an electronic or electromechanical system designed to perform a specific function and it is a combination of both hardware and firmware. Here in the definition of an embedded system, two important points are combined together. What is this? To explain the physical structure of an embedded system, they said that it is an electronic or electromechanical system designed to perform a specific function. Right? Here you got a little idea about what are the circumstances that gave rise to the need of an embedded system. Right? An embedded system is an electromechanical system and similarly it is a combination of both hardware and firmware. Firmware is nothing but the software but to write in the exams and to technically represent the term software it is called as firmware right. In all the embedded system you will see the word firmware only software is very less used right. So it is a combination of hardware and firmware right. I will explain pictorially in the next one next slide. Uh, to we got it out that what is this electromechanical means electromechanical means the it is related to the it relate to or denoting a mechanical device which is electrically operated that means a physical form of device will be there and it is operated electrically such devices are called as electrically electromechanical device and embedded system is a clear example of an electromechanical device right yes Yes, here you can simply understand the previous point in the previous slide we explained that embedded system is a combination of hardware and software. There is a physical structure is available for this embedded system. It is simply called as hardware. The physical peripherals of a system are called as hardware, right? So and software, not only this program, any program which um, any code which is written is embedded into this hardware and it is called as embedded systems it is inculcated into it right so I, I hope with this picture you are clear that what is meant by the line called embedded system is a combination of hardware and software you got clarity right let us go to the next slide Yes. So what are the specifications of an embedded system? Specifications means the speciality or the special characteristics that embedded system possess. They are every embedded system is unique. It means every embedded system either it may be any system it is unique in its own way. That means the combination of the hardware and software is different from the different embedded systems. Right. You will be getting clear while understanding with an example. Right. And they are entirely different from the general purpose system. Embedded system continuously uses a word called special, special, special. Which means it is not used for all the purposes, for all general purposes. It is used specifically, particularly. That is the main reason why embedded systems are came into existence. Right. And its hardware and software are highly specialized to the application domain. So yes, here I will give you a clear picture about how does an embedded system look like. As I already told before, embedded systems consist of little little things that are implanted on a chip. See, for example, a memory, a microprocessor, a communication ports between one another. See, all these very little little items are implanted into a chip. So this is how an embedded system look like. Okay? Yes. So now what gave rise to the need of an embedded system? Embedded system is dedicated to the performing specific tasks. Therefore, they can reduce the size, cost of the product and increase the reliability and performance. Since I already told before, embedded systems are, are arised because they can be used for specific purpose only, not all the general purposes. Right. So then why they arised? What is the need of an embedded systems? Because 
லைக் லெட் அஸ் டேக் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் அ கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஃபார் கம்ப்யூட்டர் வி யூஸ் டு யூஸ் அ வெரி லார்ஜ் லார்ஜ் பிக் சூப்பர் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் விச் ஆர் இன் அ சைஸ் ஆஃப் ஹியூஸ் ரூம் பட் நவ் இட் இஸ் சிம்பிளி இன் அவர் மொபைல் ஹேண்ட் மொபைல்ஸ் ரைட் தேர் ஹவ் தேர் சைஸ் இஸ் drastically reduced in the same way applying the concept of an embedded system the size is reduced and cost of the product is reduced and reliability which means dependency is, is also increased and performance their performance become more and more accurate more fast quick responses are given by them so these are all the circumstances that that are main reason for the need of an embedded system for the rise of an embedded system right and you i hope you got clarity about what are the reasons why an embedded system are formed yes so the while explaining about the embedded system there are two common terms which are used in the embedded system those two common terms are application and application specific we'll get bored of using these terms in the embedded system like uh, their application specific there are lot of applications using embedded systems application specific application specific so first you need to understand what is the meaning what is the difference between use those two terms right you should not use them blindly the regular terms using in the embedded system is application and application specific application means the action of putting something into operation right you already i think you all know about the meaning of application but to precisely explain them uh, if you had a theory the action of putting the theory into operation that means practically it is called as application and application specific means it is used for particular purpose only rather than intended for general purpose use it is not used for not all the purposes it is used only for the specific particular purpose only i think you got clarity about what is application and application specific means right yes now let us come to the most important concept of this video that is nothing but the comparison between general purpose computing systems and embedded system what are the general purpose computing systems the systems other than embedded systems are called as general purpose computing systems see the name itself says that general purpose means they are used for all the purposes there is no speciality or particularity in them and embedded systems the main intention of embedded system is nothing but they use it for a special purpose see it is clearly explained in the point 1 here a system combination of generic hardware and a general purpose operating system for executing a variety of, of applications a uh, software is used means a general purpose os is used it and since both of them consists of hardware a normal hardware that means general hardware and a general os is used for executing variety of applications but in the embedded system a special purpose hardware that means a hardware which is specially designed or specially intended only for a particular purpose such sort of hardware is used and at the same time an embedded operating system is used for executing a specific set of applications see i told the word application is more used here it it is used for variety of applications means lot and lot of things are done with a general purpose computing system but in the embedded system only a specific set of applications are used right and the second point is Uh, since i told before general purpose computing systems are used for multiple applications but embedded systems are used for specific applications only here third point is general purpose computing systems need not to be deterministic deterministic means accurate perfect the meaning of deterministic comes in that sense so this general per- we we did not or we could not expect a perfect output or an accurate output from this general purpose computing systems but for the embedded systems it should be deterministic since we are using all the special purpose hardware special purpose software we are using all specific and particular things so it, it conclusion is that the output will also be deterministic since we are using all the specific things the output will also be deterministic that is the meaning of the third point in the fourth one is applications are programmable by users and users can alter the os means what are the 
things that we are applied from the concepts are programmable only by the user that means user v can alter the os like uh, java unix we can use them whatever we want but while coming to the embedded system it should have a specific operating system see the firmware of the embedded system is pre-programmed that means it is already programmed there's nothing in hands of us and it is not alterable by the user alterable means change that means it is already pre-programmed and we should use it as if what is it is we cannot alter it we cannot change it right and yes and the fifth point is the performance is the primary factor to decide the efficiency efficiency means fastness quickness to decide the quickness it depends on the performance for the general purpose computing system that means how accurately it perform how fastly it perform how slowly it perform for the coming to the embedded system the application specific requirements are the key deciding factors we know the meaning of the application specific here that means not intended to the general purposes only for a special purposes so such requirements are key deciding factors here not the performance right and the sixth point is response requirements are not time critical first here we should note the meaning of time critical time critical means urgent or high priority here it is said not time critical from the general purpose computing systems the response from such systems that means the output from such systems is not time critical that means it is not urgent or it is not high priority we does not need a quick response from these kind of systems but here in the embedded systems response time is highly critical which means since we are using all a particular and special purpose systems we need a deterministic output at the time at the same time we we expect a highly critical time response that means if we want a response in 5 seconds we need to at any way we need to get the output in 5 seconds in that way uh, i used a little example not accurate example to make you understand about the concept right what uh, here you can uh, get it out that what does response time means response time means nothing but the time taken by the system to react for the given event simply we can uh, say response as an output if we gave an input for a thing and we code and we want some output output is nothing but the response coming from the system so main po key point we need to remember is here response is time critical that means we response is um, we need to get response clearly at the time but here response is not time critical you got that and going to the next slide Yes, so these are designed for the more number of applications since we are regularly using this point general purpose computing systems are used for all the lot of purposes like general purposes very very commonly used but these embedded systems are application specific applications don't get confused these are designed for the application specific applications that means particular applications specific applications see i wrote here it means very very special and particular purpose but here general purpose means very very general purpose the examples of this general purpose communication computing system is personal computers laptops etc and for the embedded systems it is refrigerators dvd players etc right here you may get a doubt that why personal computers and laptops came under the general purpose computing system and why refrigerators and dvd players came under embedded systems here we if we really listen the class you'll clearly understand it but to make it more easy for you a simple common word regularly used in this is general purpose are used for in many ways they have lot of applications and they are used for many purposes for example consider a laptop computers etc they can they are not only used for a fixed purpose we can do calculations in them we can do coding in them we can watch movies in them they are used for lots and lots of purposes not only specifically but coming to the embedded systems if we see the example of refrigerator it can only cool things it can store things it does not hot things right or it does not play music like dvd players right come to the dvd players its main purpose is to show a video or to play music it does not cool things like refrigerator right so i think with this example you better understand the embedded systems it is embedded systems are mainly used for specifical purpose only this general purpose computing systems are used for all the 
purpose is. For example, let us take an air conditioner. Air conditioner is an example of an embedded system, right? It is used for cooling the room. A remote control is there in our hand. It is an embedded system. It is a combination of all the circuits and chips embedded into it and it is used for a specific purpose. I think you got clarity about a general purpose computing system and embedded systems, the differences between them, right? And the next one is, yes, so finally in this video, we learned the basic funda of an embedded system from its meaning to until comparison between general purpose computing system and the embedded system, right? In the basic of this video, let, let me show with an example. Yes, so here from the word what embedded, embedded means uh, we simply know that implanted, inserted. From this point, from the meaning of the embedded system to we learn lot of things, right? What is the definition of an embedded system and the implementation of a hardware software combo for an embedded system and specifications of an embedded system and you got a precise idea about how does an embedded system look like and what are the circumstances that gave rise to the need of an embedded system and what are the common terms used in the embedded systems and simply the seven points showing the difference between the general purpose computing system and an embedded system right we cover all these concepts we covered more than seven concepts in this video right yes so this is that's all for this video and i'll be back with my next video very soon until then keep watching to my channel uh, do please like share subscribe to my channel computer techies uh, for all the videos related to the btec ec jnt uk r16 regulation i will be coming with a series of videos explaining all the further concepts in this video uh, in all the upcoming videos explaining concepts to this and thank you thanks for watching bye